Welcome to our channel. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe icon to get subscribed to our channel and click on the bell button to get notified about latest videos. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the larynx part of our breathing system and about the cartilages by which the larynx part is made up of. If you see the larynx part consists of totally 9 cartilages, 3 paired cartilages and 3 unpaired cartilages. So it is made up of totally 6 types of cartilages. The 6 types of cartilages are the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, the arytenoid cartilage, the corniculate cartilage, cuneiform cartilage and the epiglottis. The larynx is also called as sound box because it helps in the production of sound that is our speaking ability. So where the larynx part is located? If you see the position of larynx, whenever the air from the external environment enters our nostrils, first it enters the nasal cavity, then the pharynx, then it enters the larynx. Actually this larynx is present in between the trachea and the pharynx part. Actually, the larynx is the upper part of trachea made up of six types of cartilages. In this video, we are going to discuss about the six types of cartilages and the trick to memorize the names of this six types of cartilages. Before discussing about the six type of cartilage, we must know what is a cartilage. A cartilage is nothing but a soft connective tissue. But if you see the bones are odd connective tissue, so only there are comparatively more order than the cartilage. But both are responsible for the structural organization of the human body. That's all about the cartilage, basic information. Now let us discuss about the six types of cartilages present in the larynx. First, we have the thyroid cartilage. It is a C-shaped cartilage and it is incomplete dorsally. The biological term dorsal means backside. Let us take my body as an example. The front side of my body is the ventral side and the back side of my body is the dorsal side. So this thyroid cartilage is incomplete at the back side of the larynx. This thyroid cartilage is also called as Adam's apple. What is Adam's apple? Before knowing about the Adam's apple, we must know what is a sound box. A sound box consists of the vocal cords. There are two types of vocal cords present in the larynx. The true vocal cords and the false vocal cords. During exhalation, the air comes out through the larynx and it vibrates the vocal cords present in the larynx. As a result of this vibration only, sound is produced that is our speaking ability. If you see, in case of male, these vocal cords will become thick due to the effect of androgens produced in the male body, for example testosterone, and it makes the thyroid cartilage more prominent that is projecting outside. That prominent thyroid cartilage present in the male body is called as the Adam's apple. Next we have the cricoid cartilage. The cricoid cartilage is a signet ring shaped cartilage. So you can see the image of the signet ring in the screen and also the image of the cricoid cartilage and it is present beneath the thyroid cartilage. That's all about the cricoid cartilage. Next, we have the arytenoid cartilage. The cricoid cartilage and thyroid cartilage are unpaired cartilages, but the arytenoid cartilage is a paired cartilage. So, it is two in number. It is approximately pyramidal shaped and it forms the posterior wall of the larynx. So, what is the meaning of the biological term posterior? Posterior means behind, that is backside. Let us take our tongue as an example. The front part of our tongue that is towards the opening of the mouth is called the anterior part and the back side of the tongue towards the pharynx is called the posterior one. So which is at the back side is the posterior. So this arytenoid cartilage forms the posterior wall of the larynx. And next we have the corniculate cartilage. This corniculate cartilage is also a paired cartilage and it is Conical shaped cartilage, it is elastic fibro cartilage, it is an elastic fibro cartilage. This corniculate cartilage is present at the apexes of the arytenoid cartilage. That is, if you see the tip of the arytenoid cartilage, it contains the corniculate cartilage. That is, the corniculate cartilage is present at the tip or apex of the arytenoid cartilage. Next, we have the cuneiform cartilage. 
it is tuned in number that is it is also a panned cartilage it is a club shaped cartilage and it is also a elastic fibro cartilage the main function of the cuneiform cartilage is that it connects the arytenoid cartilage and the epiglottis cartilage next we have the epiglottis cartilage it is a leaf shaped cartilage and it is the lid of glottis so what is glottis first of all a Glottis is nothing but the opening present at the upper part of the larynx which helps in the inlet of external air into the tracheal column. This epiglottis acts as a lid over this glottis and allows only the air to flow inside the tracheal column and prevents the entry of food materials into the tracheal column for the proper functioning of our human body. And this epiglottis cartilage is also made up of elastic fibrous cartilage. And that's all for the six cartilages of the larynx part. Now let us see the trick to memorize the names of these six cartilages. Here we have the trick to remember the names of the six cartilages. Before moving to the trick, we must know an information that the tricarboxylic acid cycle, that is the Krebs cycle is a chemically efficient cycle because it produces more energy than which it consumes. So the mnemonics moves like this. The tricarboxylic acid cycle is chemically efficient. T of tri refers to thyroid. C of carboxylic refers to cricoid cartilage. And A of acid refers to arytenoid cartilage. And C of cycle refers to corniculate cartilage. And C of chemically refers to cuneiform cartilage and finally E of efficient refers to epiglottis. So now we are clear with the trick to memorize the names of the cartilage and also the information about the cartilages present in our larynx part of our breathing system etc etc. So that's all for today's video. See you later and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to get notified about latest videos. Thank you.